for today's video, we are going to solve for the distance between two points. So we have a given here. We have points 1, 5, and negative 5, and 3. So this will be our point 1, and this will be our point 2. So the formula for finding the distance between two points is D is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So this is our x sub 1 and y sub 1, x sub 2 and y sub 2. The next step is to substitute the numbers. x sub 2 is negative 5 minus x sub 1, which is 1, squared, plus y sub 2, we have 3, minus y sub 1, we have 1, squared. Simplify the numbers inside of the parentheses. We have negative 6 squared plus 2 squared. Simplify negative 6 squared is equals to 36 plus 2 squared is equals to 4. We have square root of 40. The next step is to factor out inside of a square root. We have 4 times 10. And the answer is 2 square root of 10. So the distance between 1, 5, and negative 5, and 3 is 2 square root of 10 units. We have another given here. We have point negative 2 and negative 4 and point 1 and 6. So this will be our point 1 and point 2. Then, this is our x sub 1 and y sub 1, x sub 2 and y sub 2. Our formula is D is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Then the next step is let's substitute the numbers. We have x sub 2 is 1 minus x sub 1 is negative 2. Squared plus y sub 2, we have 6, minus y sub 1, we have negative 4, squared. Then, 1 minus negative 2 will become 1 plus 2, squared. Because negative times negative is equal to positive. Plus, 6 minus negative 4 will become 6 plus 4 squared. Then let's simplify the numbers inside of the parentheses. We have 1 plus 2 will become 3 squared. Plus 6 plus 4 is 10 then squared. 3 squared is 9 plus 10 squared is 100. Let's add. We have 100 or the square root of 109. Since we can factor out the 109, this will be our final answer. D is equal to, is equal to 109. Square root of 109 rather. Number 3. We have point negative 3 and 4 and point 3 and 6. So this will be our point 1 and this is our point 2. So 
in point 1, we have x sub 1 and y sub 1. In point 2, we have x sub 2 and y sub 2. The formula is still the same. The square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Then let's substitute the numbers. We have x sub 2 is 3 minus x sub 1 is negative 3. So negative times negative is equal to positive. So it will become 3 plus 3 squared. Plus y sub 2, we have 6 minus y sub 1, we have 4. Then squared. Then let's simplify the numbers inside of the parentheses. 3 plus 3 is equals to 6, then squared, plus 6 minus 4 is equal to 2, then squared. Next, 6 squared is equal to 36, and 2 squared is 4. Let's add. So, we have the square root of 40. The next step is factor out the square root of or the 40. We have 4 times 10. Then, the square root of 4 is 2. Then, copy the square root of 10. So, our distance is 2 square root of 10. We have number 4, point 0.8 and 1, and point 0.0 and negative 5. So, this is our point 1 and point 2. We have x sub 1 and y sub 1 in point 1. And this is our x sub 2 and y sub 2 in point 2. So, our formula is the same. The square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the square root of y um, sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Then, let's substitute the numbers. x sub 2 is 0 minus x sub 1, 8. Then, squared. Plus y sub 2, we have negative 5. And y sub 1, we have 1 minus what? Squared. Let's simplify the numbers inside of the parentheses. We have negative 8 squared plus negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6 since they are the same side squared. Then negative 8 squared is 64 plus negative 6 squared is 36. Sixty-four plus thirty-six is one hundred. So the square root of one hundred is ten. So our distance between eight point eight one and point zero and negative five is ten. So we have number five. We have points one and three halves, and point negative seven and negative five halves. So, this is our point 1. This is our point 2. In point 1, we have here the x sub 1 and y sub 1. And point 2, this is our x sub 2 and y sub 2. The same formula. The square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Then, let's substitute the numbers. We have x sub 2 negative 7 and x sub 1 we have then minus 1 squared plus y sub 2 we have negative 5 halves minus y sub 1 we have 3 halves squared let's simplify the numbers inside of the parentheses we have negative
negative 7 minus 1 is equal to negative 8, then squared. Plus, plus negative 5 halves minus 3, minus 3 halves. Since they have um, the same denominator, we will just have to copy the, we will just copy the denominator. Then, simplify the numerator, negative 5 and negative 3, so we have negative 8. Then, squared. Next, negative 8 squared is equal to 64 plus negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Then, squared is equal to 16. Then, 64 plus 16, we have 80. So, we have now the square root of 80. Then, let's factor out the 80. So, we have 16 times 5. The square root of 16 is 4. Then we have the remaining 5. Let's just copy the square root of 5. So the distance between these two points is 4 square root of 5 units. In number 6, both points are fraction. So we have point 1, negative 2 thirds, and negative 3 fourths. Then point 2 is 5, and negative 5 twelves. So the formula is the same. We have the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Next, let's substitute the numbers. We have x sub 2, 5, minus negative 2 thirds. So, it will become positive 2 thirds. Squared plus y sub 2, we have negative 5 twelfths minus negative 3 fourths. So, it will become positive 3 fourths. Next, let's simplify the numbers inside of the parentheses. We have 3 our denominator is 3. Then, let's multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. Plus, copy the numerator, then squared. Plus, negative 5 twelfths plus 3 fourths. Our denominator, our LCD is 12. Then, since they are the same denominator, let's just copy the numerator, which is negative 5. Then, we have 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3 times the numerator, which is 3, is equal to positive 9 squared. Again, let's simplify. We have 15 plus 2 is equal to 17, then over 3 squared, plus negative 5 plus 9 is equal to positive 4 then 12 squared. Next, in squaring the fraction, we will just have to square the numerator and square the denominator. So we have 17 squared is equal to 289. Then 3 squared is equal to 9. Plus 4 squared, let's read those first. So we will have 1 third. So 1 squared is equal to 1 over 3 squared is equal to 9. Then let's add. They have the same denominator, which is 9. So let's just copy the denominator. Then Simplify the numerator. So, 289 plus 1 is equal to 290 over 9. Then, let's um, uh, distribute the radical sign. So, we have square root of 290 
over square root of 9. Then, um, 9 is a perfect square, so we will have 1 third square root of 290. So this will be our final answer.